Hello, good evening, students. Good evening, ma'am. Yes, very good evening to everyone. Yes, okay. So today we are going to start with the next chapter, okay? So this is a chapter for from organic chemistry that is alcohol, phenols and ethers, okay? So already we have discussed uh, this in our uh, ACE classes, okay? Uh, what are alcohols, what are phenols, what are ethers, okay? And we have studied the uh, detail, everything, okay? okay? The preparations and all. Right. So everything we have studied in detail, uh, the preparation, physical property, chemical property, right? So we are going to start here with the uh, MCQs, okay? So here in this sessions, we are going to deal with the MCQs. We are going to see the questions, okay? What type of questions are asked from this particular chapter, okay? That is alcohol, phenols and ether. So, uh, basically, what are alcohols? So, alcohols are the organic compounds, okay, uh, which is having a functional group ROH, right, ROH. So, here the R is a aromatic ring uh, or it can be a, your any aliphatic uh, compound, right. Then, what are phenols? Phenols are what? They are also organic compound, okay. Uh, so, here... Uh, in alcohols, okay, ROH, for example, I'll give you ethyl alcohol, right? CH3, CH2, OH, right? So, you have what? Your R will be your uh, uh, substituted uh, what? Uh, hydrocarbon, right? And when you see uh, phenol, so phenols are what? Phenol is also having ROH, but your R will be a aromatic compound, okay? One benzene ring will be there. So, two benzene ring, if you attach to OH, so it is phenol, right? What are ethers? Ethers are also organic compound, which is having the functional group RO, R dash, right? RO, R dash. So your R can be a alkyl group or it can be a aryl group. I hope you know what is an alkyl group, what is a aryl group. Okay, so just I gave you a basic uh, idea, okay? What are the functional groups of uh, how we represent alcohol, phenols and ethers, okay? So let us start with the Questions now. Okay, so this is our first question. I hope the screen is visible. Okay, and my voice is audible. Yes, so let yes. So let us start. So this is a first question. Anisole can be prepared by the action of methyl iodide on sodium phenate. The reaction is called. Okay, one more time. I'll repeat. Anisole can be prepared. By the action of methyl iodide on sodium phenate, the reaction is called A. Fittig reaction, B. Itard reaction, C. Woods reaction, and D. Williamson reaction. Okay, so what is anisole? Yes, students, what is anisole? So, Yes, what is the answer? Try. Okay, so anisole is what? Uh, okay, so this compound that is with OCH3, with methoxy group, okay? Yes, Sri Varuni has answered uh, benzene ring with OCH3, yes. Okay, so there are many answers which I've got. Uh, Lubna has answered as D. Sri Varuni has answered as D. Uh, JNV Raichur has answered as D. Preeti has answered as C. Amulya C. Uh, Avinash has answered as C. Asma has answered as C. Okay, so let us see the answer. Okay, so this is a compound which has to be prepared. That is a benzene ring with a methoxy group. Okay, which is called as what? Which is called as a 
anisol okay so how this compound can be prepared okay so by the action of methyl iodide so let us write methyl iodide plus sodium phenate okay what is a sodium phenate so this is a sodium phenate that is o n a okay that is o n a so this is a sodium salt or you call it that what uh, you call it as sodium phenoxide right so this is methyl iodide so methyl iodide when you react it with what sodium phenate or you call it as sodium phenoxide okay and what you get you get a anisole okay you get a anisole so how you get this anisole so this is what uh, so och3 so what will happen your uh, just let me take this color okay so and uh, i will get combined with your na okay see here if i write it o n a plus okay just to show you how it gets combined okay so it is what ch3 i right so your ch3 will get attached here and your o ch3 okay so this gets combined so how it will be so it will be o n a my, uh, o minus n a plus okay so it will be how so just see the combination how it gets combined so ch3 i right so this will get combined ch3 will get combined with o and your n a plus okay so this is the compound which is formed so which is this reaction yes so the reaction mechanism okay so this is what it is a simple what what is formed here here so this is one o c h3 so is it resembling like a ether right is it re is it resembling like a ether r o r dash yes so which is the reaction here it is a williamson reaction okay it is what it is a williamson's reaction because what we have prepared here we have prepared a ether okay we have prepared what we have prepared a ether so what is our answer it is a williamson ether synthesis okay so when methyl iodide it reacts with your sodium phenoxide what we are get, getting we are getting a ro r dash compound right your one r is your methyl group and another r dash is your benzene ring okay so this is what it is a ether synthesis we have done a ether synthesis so what is our answer our answer is d okay so the students who have answered as d lubna and shri varuni and uh, jnv raichur yes correct your answer is correct so d is the correct answer okay we are doing a williamson ether uh, synthesis okay fine let us go for the next one catalytic dehydrogenation of a primary alcohol gives a catalytic dehydrogenation of a primary alcohol gives a a ketone b ester c secondary alcohol and d aldehyde so catalytic dehydrogenation of a primary alcohol so what we are doing we are taking a primary alcohol okay we are taking a primary alcohol and we are doing catalytic dehydrogenation dehydrogenation means what dehydrogenation means removal of hydrogen okay removal of hydrogen dehydrogenation d means removal okay and hydrogenation means addition so here what we are doing we are removing the hydrogen from alcohol so we need a dehydrogenating agent so we will take what we will take copper okay we are taking copper at 300 degree celsius so alcohol okay and we are reacting it with copper uh, so what we are going to get we are going to get uh, when we remove this two hydrogen okay remove this two hydrogen what you will get you are going to get rcho right plus h2 so what is this this is a aldehyde so what we got we have got a aldehyde so catalytic dehydrogenation of a primary alcohol it gives you what it gives you a aldehyde so d is the answer okay d is the answer so let me see who all have answered as d so yes asma has answered shivaruni has answered amulya has answered dubna has answered okay very good 
Preeti has answered. Uh, yes, uh, Rachid uh, College has answered. Very good. Okay, so yes. So D is the answer. So uh, when, it, uh, when we do dehydrogenation, that is we are removing the hydrogens. We get what? We get a aldehyde. Okay, we are getting a aldehyde. Okay, so let us go for the next one. Among the following, which is least acidic? Among the following, which is least acidic? A, paranitrophenol, B, parachlorophenol, C, phenol, and D, para, uh, this is orthocresol. Okay, so uh, this is orthocresol. So among the following, which is least acidic? Paranitrophenol, parachlorophenol, Parachlorophenol, phenol, and D ortho cresol. Okay. JNV Raichura has answered as D. Preeti has answered as B. Sri Varuni has answered as D. Amulya has answered as B. Asma has answered as B. Okay. Fine. So let us see. Ulubna has answered as B. So, what is the answer for third one? So, here, among the following, which is least acidic. Okay. So, let me write first the structures. Okay. Let me write the structures. So, paranitrophenol means what? This is a nitrophenol. Okay. This is a nitrophenol. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, let me write phenol first. Okay. And at para position, you have a nitro group. So, this is what? This is a paranitrophenol. Right. At uh, with respect to OH group, this is a para position. Okay, so at para, we have a nitro group. So, this is a para nitrophenol. Okay, then we have para chlorophenol. So, again, same. Let us write a phenol group. Okay, and then at para position, you have a chlorine. Okay, then you have a phenol. Next, you have what? Phenol. Then you have a orthocresol. Okay, next you have what? Orthocresol. So, phenol. And what is the substituent? It is a CH3 group. Okay. At ortho position with respect to OH. So, this is a what? This is a uh, orthocresol. This is phenol. Okay. And this is a chlorophenol. That is orthochlorophenol. And this is paranitrophenol. Paranitrophenol. Okay. Now, so, what they have asked, which is least acidic. Okay. Now, when we are talking about the acidic character, when we are talking about the acidic character, so whenever, uh, so there is, uh, we have studied about the uh, electron withdrawing groups and electron releasing groups, right? In the chapter of alcohol. So, very important concept it is. Okay. Based on that, question is also asked. So, so what is uh, uh, said there? Yes, so whenever you have a electron withdrawing group, right? Whenever you have electron withdrawing groups. Now, which are the electron withdrawing groups? Now, here, which are the electron withdrawing group? Like nitro group, okay, like the fluoro group. So, these are the electron withdrawing group. So, what it will do, the electron withdrawing group? They will decrease the electron density. Withdrawing means what? They will pull the electron towards the, uh, themselves, right? So, electron withdrawing groups means what? Whenever electron withdrawing groups are there, they will pull the electron towards themselves. Okay. So, what will happen? Yes. So, there will be uh, increase in the acidic character because the electron density is getting decreased. Right. As you are pulling the electron towards itself. So, what is happening? There is a decrease in electron density. So, because of which the acidity, okay, acidic character will increase. Okay. And wherever you have electron donating groups, okay, whenever you have donating uh, groups, now which are the electron donating groups? Like your methyl group, okay, like your methyl groups. Now what they will do? They will give electrons, okay, they will give electrons. So when they are giving electrons, what will happen to the electron density? It will increase, okay, electron density will increase and acidic character will decrease, okay, acidity will decrease, right? Right? Yes? Okay. So now, which is least acidic then? Which is least acidic here? So when we see the least acidity, so nitrophenol is there. So as compared to nitro and fluoro, 
this is more acidic okay so this is more as compared to chloro then after chloro now here at phenol there is no electron withdrawing or electron releasing group so this is neutral okay then again when we see ortho so the, what will happen electron density will increase and acidity will decrease okay so which is least acidic it is our ortho cresol so d yes so whoever has answered as d the answer is correct okay yes bb uh, lubna okay so uh, shivaruni yes okay uh, jnv raichu yes very good okay so uh, yes d is the correct answer so remember the acidity concept okay uh, with respect to your alcohols phenols right uh, so please uh, study the acidic uh, acidity uh, concept that is the effect of uh, electron withdrawing group and uh, effect of uh, this uh, electron uh, releasing group okay so study that uh, very important concept with respect to theory also so next is uh, fourth question the best method for the conversion of an alcohol into an alkyl chloride is by treating the alcohol with so what we need to do we have to convert and alcohol into a alkyl chloride so how we are going to do this method how we are going to do this reaction of converting the primary alcohol or uh, that is your alcohol into the alkyl chloride alkyl chloride how you are going to do so which is the best method so there are four options a pcl5 that is penta uh, phosphorus penta chloride b thionyl chloride in the presence of pyridine uh, c dry hydrochloric acid in the presence of anhydrous zncl2 that is zinc chloride and uh, d is pcl3 that is your uh, phosphorus trichloride Okay, phosphorus trichloride. So, which is the best method? Okay, so here are some answers. JNV Raichur has answered as D. Preeti has answered as B. Sri Varuni has answered as D. Amulya Asma has answered as B. Uh, Amulya and Asma. Then Lubna uh, and Baby has answered as D. Asma. Okay, these are the answers of what? Okay, I have missed some. Sujana, Sujana and Sanjana have answered as C. Niharika has answered as B. Lubna has answered as D. Anil has answered as B. Okay, fine. So let us see. Okay, uh, so what is the answer? So when we are doing the conversion, okay, when we are doing the conversion. When we, when we are doing the conversion, that is from alcohol to an alkyl uh, chloride, okay. So, how we are going to do that? So, that is the best method when we have uh, studied the preparation of alcohol. The best method to prepare alkyl chloride, chlorides from alcohol is uh, by treating it with thionyl chloride. Why? Uh, alcohol, okay, when you treat it with thionyl chloride, so this is the best method because in the presence of pyridine okay uh, in the presence of pyridine uh, it gives you uh, alkyl chloride okay plus uh, sulfuric uh, sulfur dioxide plus hcl why this method is best method because the byproducts obtained are gases okay the byproduct obtained are gases and they will escape out right they will escape out so the product yield uh, found will be more Right. So, this is the best method for the conversion of alcohol into alkyl chloride. So, this is B answer. Okay. So, who all have answered as B? So, this is the best method, okay, for preparing your alkyl chloride. Okay. Uh, why? If they ask you why, what is the reason? Because the byproducts obtained are what? They are the gases. And gases, they will easily escape out. Right. They will easily escape out, okay, from the reaction mixture. So, this is the best method. So, option number. So, option number B. Okay. So, option number B. So, whoever, uh, whoever have answered as option number B. Yes, it is the right answer. Okay. Let us go for the next one. Lucas test is associated with. Lucas test is associated with. A, phenol. B, carboxylic acid. 
सी सी अल्कोहल्स एंड डी अल्डीहाइड्स सो लुकास टेस्ट लुकास टेस्ट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ ए फिनॉल्स बी कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड सी अल्कोहल एंड डी अल्डीहाइड लुकास टेस्ट इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट इट इज अ डिस्टिंग्विशिंग टेस्ट ओके लुकास टेस्ट वॉट इज अ लुकास रिएजेंट लुकास रिएजेंट येस concentrated hcl yes niharika has answered as b uh, srujana and uh, sanjana have answered as a priti has answered as b asma kencha has answered as b yes baby has answered correct it is what lucas reagent okay what is a lucas reagent lucas reagent is concentrated hcl and anhydrous okay and anhydrous zinc chloride so remember this remember this okay uh, so option number yes uh, and lucas uh, test is famous for alcohols okay so option number c is the answer option number c so who all have answered as option number c okay it is a correct answer yes baby has answered lubna has answered okay yes option number c is the correct answer so lucas test it is associated with what it is a distinguishing test okay why we are doing distinguishing test because in alcohols we have three types primary alcohol secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohol so if the given alcohol we don't know what type of alcohol is present okay so by doing lucas test we can distinguish whether it is a primary alcohol secondary or tertiary okay so in primary uh, we do not get the ppt right okay uh, in uh, primary we do not get the ppt right and in uh, secondary what will happen you get a ppt okay but after some time right uh, after some time you get a ppt and in tertiary you get ppt immediately okay immediately so this is the uh, distinguishing test in pri primary no ppt in secondary you get a ppt after 5 minutes maybe or 2 minutes 2 to 5 minutes and uh, tertiary you get immediately okay so this is the distinguishing test you have to take the given alcohol okay and add this lucas reagent so you will see this particular uh, mm -hmm. test okay fine so option number c please note it down option number c is the answer i hope your doubts are clear okay so what is lucas test it is a distinguishing test between the primary secondary and tertiary alcohol okay let us go for the next one one mole of an organic compound a with the formula c3h8o reacts completely with Two moles of Hi to form X and Y. When Y is boiled with the aqueous alkali, it forms Z. Z answers the iodoform test. The compound A is so, which is the compound A? A propane to all, B propane one all, C ethoxy ethane and D methoxy ethane. Okay, so let us see step wise. okay let us see the stepwise reaction so if a what they have asked one mole of organic compound a okay and this compound is having c3 c3 h8o okay it reacts with what this is a one mole one mole it reacts with two moles of hi okay two moles of hi that is your hydro uh, hydrogen iodide okay to form and what it forms it forms compound x and y okay now when y is boiled when y is boiled with aqueous uh, alkali okay we have a, a alkali with that it is boiled so it forms z okay and z is answering the iodoform test z is answering the iodoform test so they have asked what is a what is a so this is the question now here uh, 
uh, okay, so what is A? So let us see, O is there. Shall it be a ether? Yes. Uh, can it be a ether? Because iodoform test, okay, uh, it is uh, shown by what? Iodoform tests are mo uh, mostly shown by alcohols, right? Now here, if A reacts with uh, H, uh, your HI, now your a, your A can be, okay, if your A can be, so if it is CH, so if I take a ether, uh, so one will be a methyl group, okay, then we are left with what? C2 carbon and H5, 6, 7, 8, 5 carbon, okay, so if it is a ether, okay, if it is a ether, this is your what? This is a Methoxyethane. This is what? Methoxy. This is your uh, ethyl, methyl, ether. Right? This is your ethyl, methyl, ether. This is your ethyl, methyl, ether. Now, this ethyl, methyl, ether, if you treat it with HI, okay, excess of HI, what you will get? One product, one product with your methyl, your iodide will com uh, com uh, combine and uh, your uh, this another because there are two moles so again one ethyl okay and plus uh, water okay again water so this is the uh, compound so this can be your x this can be your y now if i take y so what is y your ethyl iodide okay ethyl iodide so if i treat, uh, treat it with some aqueous alkali so which alkali i'll take uh, i'll take a uh, aqueous NaOH. Okay, I'll take aqueous NaOH. So, okay, so what will happen? Your iodide will be uh, what? Exchanged or it will be substituted with what? Which nucleophile? OH. Okay, so you will get ethyl alcohol. What you will get? You will get a ethyl alcohol. Right. Now, this ethyl alcohol, so ethyl alcohol, it will answer the, uh, this, what? Ethyl alcohol will answer the uh, test, right? So, here, what is the answer? So it is methoxyethane. Okay, D. Yes, D is the answer. So who all have answered as D? Amulya has answered as D. Asma has answered as D. Uh, uh, Preeti has answered. Dubna has answered. Okay. Yes. So D is the answer. Okay. Uh, yes. So uh, like this. Uh, so uh, what is there? Ether is there. So ether. So they have given the uh, formula. Okay. So that is reacting with what? Two moles of HI. So when it reacts with HI, you, you get substituted iodides, right? You get a methyl iodide, you get a ethyl iodide. So that is X and Y. Then what they have said, Y is reacting with aqueous uh, alkali. You get an alcohol. Okay, and this alcohol will answer the iodoform test. So which is a compound? It is a methoxy ethane. So option number D is the answer. Okay, let us go for the next one. Okay, an organic, uh, 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 an oxygen containing organic compound upon oxidation forms a carboxylic acid. Okay, as the only organic compound with its molecular mass higher by 14 units, the organic compound is an aldehyde, a, a primary alcohol, a secondary alcohol, and a ketone. So, uh, uh, there is a organic compound and that organic compound is containing what it is containing the oxygen okay and that organic compound when you do oxidation what is oxidation addition of oxygen right addition of oxygen is called as what it is called as oxidation right so after adding uh, after doing oxidation you are getting a carboxylic acid okay you are getting a carboxylic acid okay now this carboxylic acid
carboxylic acid as the only organic product okay and by doing oxidation there is a increase in mass mo molecular mass by 14 units okay by 14 units the molecular mass is increased now what is the organic compound they have asked now the difference in the mass uh, is what it is the 14 units okay it is between 14 units okay now what is the uh, compound so carboxylic acid is what carboxylic acid is coh now uh, carbon is what 12 plus oxygen is 16 plus 16 plus hydrogen okay hydrogen is 1 so so the, here what you can see uh, so uh, carboxylic acid okay now if you take uh, the uh, simplest okay if you take a simplest alcohol, uh, this is your uh, simplest uh, alcohol, that is your ethyl alcohol. Okay, if you take ethyl alcohol and if you do the oxidation, okay, if you do oxidation, that is, so whenever you take a alcohol and you do oxidation, alcohols are converted into carboxylic acid. Okay, what is happening? Alcohol is converted into carboxylic acid. Now, here we have taken starting uh, compound, uh, okay, we will see with uh, ethyl alcohol, okay, we are taking ethyl alcohol. Now, ethyl alcohol, when we do oxidation, what we are going to get? We are going to get CH3, CH, uh, COOH, okay. So, there is a, what is happening here? Addition of oxygen and removal of, uh, removal of hydrogen. Now, count the molecular formula, let us see. Let us see. So carbon is 12. So 12 into 2. Uh, sorry, 12 into 2. Yes. Plus oxygen is 16 into 2. Plus hydrogen is 1 into 4. So calculate 12, 2 are 24. Plus 2, 6 are 12. 2, 1 are 2, 3, 32. Plus 4. Sixty grams. Okay, this is sixty grams, and your your you calculate carbon is two, hydrogens are six, and oxygen. Right, uh, carbon twelve into two plus six plus sixteen, twenty four, six and sixteen, forty six. So difference between uh, this is forty. Okay, yes. So it is what what you have got so which is the compound it is a primary uh, uh, this alcohol so option number b okay so it is a primary alcohol so whenever you have a uh, okay what they have said there is an organic compound which is having oxygen okay and when we are doing oxidation you are getting carboxylic acid so whenever you have a primary alcohol when you do oxidation you get a carboxylic acid so we have taken the simplest or uh, uh, alcohol that is your ethyl alcohol okay it is forming what it is forming a acetic acid so we have calculated the molecular mass we can see the difference between the molecular mass is 14 grams okay that is uh, so it is what it is a ethyl alcohol yes so uh, lubna has answered as b Uh, yes, okay. Okay, so here, once more I'll repeat. Now here, what they have asked, what is the question? And organic compound is there and that organic compound is containing oxygen. When you do oxidation on that organic compound, you are going to get a carboxylic acid. Okay, now remember that whenever you have a primary alcohol, whenever you have a primary alcohol, and when you do oxidation, what is happening? Uh, you are going to get what? You are going to get a, uh, this uh, one carbon extra compound. Okay. You are going to get a compound with a higher molecular mass. So here you can see there is no carbon and oxygen. So there is they, there can be an increase in uh, weight here, right? So whenever uh, you have a primary alcohol, so primary alcohol, when you do oxidation, you are going to get a carboxylic acid. So what they have said that the... After doing oxidation, there is increase of molecular weight by 14 units, right? So, if I take a simplest, I have tried with simplest alcohol, that is ethyl alcohol. So, if, if, if ethyl alcohol, if you do oxidation, you are going to get acetic acids.
th3 COOH. Now, when you calculate the molecular mass, this is 60 grams and this was 46 grams, right? So, what is the difference between this? 60 minus 46 is 14. So, which is the answer? It is a, what is this compound? It is a primary alcohol. What the four, four options are? Aldehyde, primary alcohol, secondary or ketone. So, it is a primary alcohol. So, option number B is the answer, okay? Yes, so who all have answered as B? Uh, it is a correct answer. Okay. Understood up to here? Are the questions clear? Up to here? Any doubts? Any doubts up to here? If you have any doubts, please ask. Uh, seven questions we have seen. Okay, up to seven questions. Any doubts? Okay, Ludna has no doubts. Others? Okay, let us continue then. Next question. A phenol, phenol, okay. Phenol, uh, phenol, it forms a tribromo derivative. In the presence of X, it forms a tribromo derivative. What is this X? Okay, uh, phenol. So this is our phenol. So please tell me. Phenol, when it pre presents with the X, it forms a tribromo derivative. Now, this is a tribromo derivative. Tribromo means 1, 2, and 3. So, at dispositions, you have a bromo groups. So, this is our tribromo derivative. Now, what is that? X. A, bromine in benzene. B, bromine in water. C, potassium bromide solution. D, bromine in carbon tetrachloride at uh, 0 degree Celsius. So, phenol, okay, when you react with what? When you react it with, uh, this is a, uh, uh, this, okay, uh, they will ask you in, uh, they will keep empty spaces in theory also. They will keep empty spaces and they will ask you, what is this X like that? So, this, uh, these are some of the important reactions which you have to go, go through. So, if you react this with, bromine water okay if you react it with bromine water you are going to get what you are going to get uh, uh tribromo derivative what is the name of this tribromo derivative it is at this is the positions let me write the positions so one two three four five and six so it is two four six two four six then you have one two and three so, 2, 4, 6, tribromo and what is the parent, uh, this compound, it is phenol. So, 2, 4, 6, tribromo, phenol. So, what is the answer? Bromine in water. Okay, bromine in water. So, very important reaction. Okay, when we are preparing the tribromo derivative. Look. Lubna has answered as a B. Very good. Sri Varuni has answered as B. So, yes. Okay. If both your answers are correct. So, yes. B is the correct answer. Bromine in water is the correct answer. Okay. Let us go for the next one. Identify B and D in the following sequence of reactions. So, this is the reaction going on. So, you have to find out what is B and D. Okay. What is B and D? D in the following sequence. A, methanol and bromoethane. B, ethyl hydrogen sulfate and alcoholic KOH. C, ethyl hydrogen sulfate and aqueous KOH. D, ethanol and alcoholic KOH. So, what is our, uh, this? So, uh, ethene is there. Okay, this is our ethene. Okay, now ethene, what is happening with ethene? We are uh, treating it with concentrated H2SO4. Okay, we, we are treating it with concentrated H2SO4. So, what is happening? One of the hydrogen, one of the hydrogen is replaced by what? It is replaced by H plus and HSO4 minus. Okay, when HSO4, uh, this will split. So, what you are going to get? You are going to get CH3, CH2, okay, CH3, CH2. Okay, so one one hydrogen is added, so CH three and your CH two and HSO four. So this is our A. This is our A. Now 
further what they have done they have treated it with water they have heated with water okay after heating with water what will happen this so4 okay the, the so4 will go and oh will add so what you are going to get you are going to get a alcohol okay you are going to get alcohol so your hso uh, so4 will be converted uh, into what h plus and oh minus so oh minus so oh minus will replace this so4 so what you are going to get you are going to get the uh, uh, Okay, so this is going to uh, replace your OH minus. So CHC, CH2, OH. So this is your B. This is your B. Now this B further it is treated with phosphorus tribromide. Right. So what you are going to get? What is your leaving group here? BR. Okay, BR is a, a good leaving group. So your OH is substituted by CH3, CH2, BR. Okay, CHC, CH2, BR. Now, this CHC, uh, that is your uh, ethyl bromide. Okay, you get a ethyl bromide. Now, this is C. Now, this ethyl bromide, you are going to treat it with what to give you ethene. So, if I treated this with alcoholic KOH, okay, if I treat it with alcoholic KOH, which is a good dehydrogenating agent. Alcoholic KOH is what? It is a good dehydrogenating dehydro uh, agent. So, when you treat it with the uh, good dehydrogenating agent like alcoholic KOH, you get a ethene. Okay, you get what? You get a ethene. So, your ethyl bromide, okay, ethyl bromide, uh, when you have an alkyl halide, okay, and you want to convert it into ethene, you are going to uh, use the dehydrogenating agent like alcoholic KOH. So, which is our answer? What they have asked? B and D. So, ethyl alcohol and alcoholic KOH. Ethanol and alcoholic KOH. So, yes, D is the answer. Yes, D is the answer. Yes, D is the answer. Yes, Lubna, Shri, Varuni, Baby have answered it correct. Very good. Yes, D is the answer. Okay, fine. Let us go for the next one. The compound which gives turbidity immediately with Lucas reagent at room temperature is. Okay, so we know that what is Lucas reagent? Okay, Lucas reagent, uh, uh, it is what? It is a uh, reagent which consists of concentrated HCl and uh, ZnCl2. Okay. Okay, so what is Lucas reagent? It is concentrated HCl and ZnCl2. So when you react it with primary alcohol, I said what? When you react it with primary alcohol, you don't get any PPT or there is no reaction. When you react it with secondary alcohol, when you react it with secondary alcohol, you get a PPT, but after five minutes. Okay, you get PPT uh, after five minutes. Okay, after five minutes. And tertiary alcohol, when you have a tertiary alcohol, you get PPT immediately. Okay, you get PPT immediately. Remember this. Now, so which will give you immediately? Turbidity immediately, it should be a tertiary alcohol. Now, find out which is a tertiary alcohol among this options. A, butane 1 all, B, butane 2 all, C, 2 methyl propane 2 all, and D, 2 methyl propane 1 all. So, you need to know how to write the structures here. Okay, you need to know how to write the structure. So, butane. Uh, which is the answer? So, which is the tertiary alcohol? Here, it is a 2-methyl propane 2 all. Okay, it is a 2-methyl propane 2 all. 2-methyl propane. So, this is a 2-methyl uh, propane 2 all. So, 1, 2, 3. So, at 2 position, you have a methyl group. Okay, and uh, at 2 position, you have a uh, OH group. So, this is the it's tertiary alcohol. So, C is the answer. Butane 1 all is what? It is a primary. This is a secondary and 2 methyl propane 2 1 all. Uh, this is also a secondary. Right. So, answer is C. Understood? 
Understood? Yes. So our answer is what? Our answer is C. Yes. Uh, Shivaruni has answered. Lubna has answered it correct. Yes. Very good. Okay. So yes, C is the correct answer. Fine. Let us go for the next one. Next question. Power alcohol is a mixture of power alcohol is a mixture of a 80% uh, petrol plus 20% benzene plus small quantity of ethanol b 80% petrol plus 20% ethanol plus small quantity of benzene c 80% ethanol plus 20% benzene plus small quantity of petrol d 50% petrol plus 50% ethanol plus small quantity of benzene so remember that what is a power alcohol so power alcohol it is a mixture of 80% petrol please note it down okay it is a 80% petrol 20% ethanol okay and small quantity of benzene okay so uh, uh, it is a 20% ethanol and 80% petrol okay or that is your gasoline okay and uh, this is called as power alcohol where it is used it is used in inter, uh, internal combustion okay engines to drive power so when you need to drive power okay in the vehicle so that time you are making use of this power alcohol okay so when you want power in the vehicles okay so that time we use this type of alcohol so which is the answer it is b Okay, it is B. Yes. Okay. Fine. The next question. Identify C in the following. Identify C in the following. So, this is a reaction. Okay. Benzene. Okay. You have a benzene uh, in the presence of this uh, alkyl chloride. Okay. You uh, react it with anhydrous AlCl3 and HCl. You get A. When you react with oxygen in, uh, at 130 degrees Celsius, you get B. Okay, further reacting with dilute H2SO4 at 100 degrees Celsius, you get phenol plus C. So, they have asked, what is this C? They have asked, what is this C? Okay, so identify C here. So, you have a benzene. You have what? You have a benzene. Okay, you have CH3, CH, CH3, Cl. Okay, so that is 2 chloro or propane. 2 chloropropane. Okay, you have 2 chloropropane. Okay, so here. So what you are going to get in the presence of N hydrous AlCl3. Okay, in the presence of N hydrous AlCl3, what you are going to get? What will happen? So, your, your benzene will be substituted. Okay, you are going to get what? You are going to get a isopropyl alcohol. Right, you are going to get a isopropyl benzene. Okay, sorry, isopropyl benzene, isopropyl benzene. This is what? Uh, this is a cumin formation. Right, remember cumin formation? Yes, so this is a cumin formation. So, you have isopropyl. Okay, so... Uh, isopropyl benzene that is a cumin formation now this cumin formation further what we are doing we are reacting with oxygen okay we are reacting with dioxygen at 130 degrees celsius so what will happen there will be placement of this two oxygen we are going to get what cumin hydrogen uh, hydroperoxide right we are going to get what cumin hydroperoxide so that is ch3 and ch3 so this is what this is Cumin hydroperoxide. So this is hydroperoxide. Okay, cumin hydroperoxide. Further, I am going to treat it with what? Dilute H2SO4. In, uh, I am going to treat it with dilute H2SO4 at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, at 100 degrees Celsius. What I am going to get? What is the product? Phenol. Okay, remember, remember the synthesis and what is a byproduct? It is a acetone. Okay, it is a acetone. So acetone, what is the name? It is a propanol. Propanol. Okay, it is a propanol. So yes, B is the answer. Okay. 
So this is the answer, okay. Okay, so what is the answer? Uh, C, okay, C is the answer. So this is what, this is a preparation of phenol. So this, uh, this particular uh, uh, preparation where we have studied in the preparation of phenol. Yes. Yes, Lubna Shivaruni has answered it correct. So, yes, C is the answer. Okay. Fine. Last question. Which of the following is strongly acidic? Which of the following is strongly acidic? A phenol, B orthocresol, C paranitrophenol, and D para uh, paracresol. Yes. Which of the following is strongly acidic? Strongly acidic means what? Which will be strongly acidic? Electron withdrawing group, right? Electron withdrawing group, they will increase the, uh, they will decrease the acidic uh, elect, uh, electron density and thus there will be increase in the acidic strength. So when you write uh, paranitrocresol, okay, uh, your paranitrophenol, Paranitrophenol, then will be your phenol, then will be your orthocresol, and then will be your paracresol. Okay, so your which is most acidic? It is your C. Okay, C is the answer. Yes, so we all have answered as C. Yes, Shivaruni, baby and Lubna. Very good. Okay, so C is the correct answer. Okay, fine. So any doubts up to your? Any doubts up to your? So we have seen some 13 questions. Okay. This is a little bigger one. Okay, this will take uh, time, 14th one. So we will see the remaining questions in the next time. Okay, any doubts up to your? Okay, Lubna has no doubts. What about others? Any doubts up to your? If you have any doubts, please you can ask. Okay. So yes, so uh, in today's session, we have seen 13 questions, okay, based on alcohol, phenols and ether. So the remaining questions we'll be discussing in the next class. So we have uh, many questions, okay. Uh, so what type of questions uh, will be uh, uh, are asked, okay. Uh, what type of questions are asked uh, in the CET. So those all questions I have taken here. So different type of questions we will see in the next class, okay. So yes, thank you. Yes, so I'll end the session here, okay. So yes. Thank you, everyone.